I was cleaning out my gutters this winter and there's one section that really gets clogged up with leaves from one of my neighbor's trees and this year it was enough to kind of get down in the downspout. It was kind of a pain, but I got it cleared out. But for me, I really just need one section of my gutters kind of guarded from leaves. I was looking on Amazon and I came across this Raptor gutter guard. It's a stainless steel micro mesh and each pack will cover 48 feet of your, of your gutter, linear feet. And so it comes with these, um, sections that are just under four feet each so it's a it's a stainless steel mesh and it uh, kind of guides the won't allow the leaves to get in your gutters this 48 foot pack in one box uh, on amazon at the time of this video is about 125 dollars so they're not cheap but they do seem to be made to where it could be a, a one-time thing they do appear to be very well made and so i'm not going to comment a lot on installation because i haven't done it yet but we'll record it for you i'll make some notes I, it does come with these um these screws these self-tapping screws and it also comes with a drill bit so um, I do have several tools out, but I don't want to mention all of them because I'm not sure what I'm going to need yet. So we'll kind of share that as we watch the video together. Let's get started. Okay, this is a before picture. This is the section that we're wanting to get. Gutters clean. The culprit of the leaves is this tree right here. And they all go right here in this section. So we're going to cover this whole section. And we'll just wrap it around the corner a couple of feet on each side. That's what we have room for in one box. So let's get started. Okay, so we laid our first piece in. Uh, this is for 5-inch gutters, by the way. Which I believe is standard, but evidently there's maybe more than one size. So I've got this piece, it has a lip that's tucked in inside the gutter. So this is solid in there. Had to lift up these shingles to shove that back piece in there. And then on these outside corners I have, I'm gonna have two of these, one here and one down there when I make it down there. So here, this is gonna be the hardest part of the job. I got it set here, I used a, a 45 degree tool could you hand me that yellow tool? I just want to show what I used. So I took a tool like this, just a triangle, and it was too big to push it back all the way, but I, I, sh I lined this up as far as it would go that way. That's how I decided where to stop my piece. And then I made a 45 degree right here. I used a permanent marker to draw on the mesh, and that's where I'm going to, have to use some sort of tool they uh, talk about uh, snips in the directions so I have snips I, but we're going to take this piece out now go cut that and then put it back in and then I can then take my my next piece that goes here and I can cut the 45 on that one as well but I think on that one uh, yeah, I'm not sure how much I'm going to have left. So I have to make sure first that I cover from here all the way down to there. I'm not sure how much I'm going to have left. Uh, I may not have a full piece left to put here. So I'll have to measure that. But that's what we're going to go do now is cut that. All right, so we're not going to cut the outside piece at all. We want to cut this on the inside at a, at a 45 degree angle. But I'm going to try to save my mesh because the directions just show you kind of folding the mesh down. So all I'm trying to cut is this. These are just snips. I don't know if they're going to work or not. We'll find out. And uh, we're just going to try and cut this little part right here. Not sure if our snips are... Oh boy, okay. Got it, and a little bit of the mesh, but it really wasn't too bad. 
the nice thing about it is I've only got to trim four pieces on this job. Yeah, short work for the snips. They do a much better job, so that's all I need. If I can find where I bought these metal snips, I'll put a link in the description to this as well as an Amazon link to the Raptor gutter guard. So now what we'll do, we'll just kind of bend this down out of the way into the gutter. And then we met, my wife and I measured the straight lengths and we do have enough to put a full piece on either side going back. So we're going to go ahead and cut that as well while we're, while we're set up down here. So we're going to get our other piece and do that. Okay. So my wife went and take bring the rest of the box around. I got this up here, got it snapped back in place. It's not screwed in yet, but it's in there solid because of how it is underneath the shingles and because there's pressure pushing out i really think in this application i probably wouldn't even have to use the screws if i didn't want to we'll see but we're going to go ahead and and cut this piece that goes that way right now okay so now we're doing the other side i really can't put this one in to to ride on it like i did the first one so i just decided to use this 45 degree triangle i'm going all the way to the edge here and then uh making my making my mark so kind of lining it up at the end of that point and then i'm going to cut that right there and so we're going to see we may have to do some trimming but this is going to get us very close so we're going to cut that with the snips right here and then we're going to cut along our mesh and then bend it like we like we bent this okay so coming around this corner you can tell where the 45s meet up where the mesh is folded under and we're going to start our straight run down that way okay so we ran this straight span of just popping the four foot sections in without bolts in probably five to ten minutes from the corner down there so what we're going to do before we get to our our next 90 degree corner which we're going to get to on our next piece before we trim that we're going to go back to the beginning around the corner and we're going to do our our um, self-starting screws and we're going to screw all these down tight so that they're secure before we make our next cut because if I, if I wait till the end of the project to come back and screw all these down, they might shift a little bit and, I, and my cut might not be exactly where I want it then. So we're gonna go back to the beginning, start with the screws, and then when we get uh, this this piece screwed down, then we'll pick it up with our, our last little bit of this project. All we have to do is we have one piece that's gonna take us to the corner, and then on the other side of that corner, we've got two pieces left that we're going to put there. And then we'll be done. So we'll check back with you in a minute. So the self-starting screws that came with it did work without a pilot hole. So they really were self-starting. I had my doubts because this is pretty thick. Um, but the drill bit that came with it and the screws that came with it, all I had to do was put a little bit of pressure on the drill. And it went right through there and attached to the gutter. So three per section and we're going to round the corner and do our straight run okay so you'll notice that i'm back at the beginning with everything unscrewed just want to point out this is how i had it before looks fine but it kind of goes almost down a little bit i was all the way down there when i realized that there's a, a better point in the back so that you don't have any gap here. Here it's pretty tight, but as I got down there, I had a little more of a gap. So under here, what I gotta do is lift this back up onto there. So I'm gonna set it on top of there and I'll show you what it looks like after I do that. I don't know if you can tell on the video, but this is the new position where the back is 
angled up so it slopes down now and leaves aren't going to be able to make their way in between the shingles and the gutter guard so it's got a better position under the shingle now than it had before where it's more secure all right so now we're just gonna go down that way one more time okay it took me about a half hour so i had to go all the way back and take out all those sheet metal screws and change the angle of this under the shingles but it looks so much better now where i really think most of the leaves are just going to blow right off now instead of kind of getting stuck sitting on there until the wind blows them off so just try and get this back part to, to kind of lock in at the right place i think before uh, mine wasn't moving so i thought it was but i didn't realize till i got right around here that anyway i had to go back and redo it so now we're going to take our piece and we're going to cut our 45 degree angle and get around this last corner okay so our angle is going to be a 45 degree angle so all we did was line our triangle up uh with the with the edge of this hard to show you with one hand but basically i get it all the way to the edge of that metal and then i put my black line there so we're going to use our snips just like we did on the other end to cut there and then along that line to get rid of this piece we're going to fold this under and then we'll do the same thing to make the corner where we do the 45 degree uh, on the other side and then once we line that up we'll have a straight piece to cut off of this and then we'll try to reuse that if it's long enough okay so we're around that first corner and then coming this way we just trimmed up our corner piece right there to 45 and then we will cut another piece with a 45 and finish our run i think we have two more pieces left for that other side my piece i cut off the straight piece to make this fit after i did my 45 right there it's only like three or four inches long that's it there on the on the ground so that's i won't be reusing that so it's going well. We're going to finish it up.